Hello, welcome to our virtual back to school night. My name is Bree Hine and I am your child's CP English 9 teacher. So to get started, I just want to tell you how grateful I am that I get to teach your student this year and I get to spend time with students in person and we get that time in class to do things uh, to build community that we may not have if we were fully online from the start. So I'm grateful for that in-class time. It is bizarre. I only get to see them twice a week as opposed to five times, but I think we're going to make the best of it this year. So to start a little bit about myself, I went to the University of Wyoming for my undergraduate degree. I greatly enjoyed my time there. Um, I finished my master's degree last spring at Western Governors University. And I have spent three years at Creek so far. It's my third year. Uh, and I think your student is going to enjoy it just as much as I have. So uh, to start, some tips and tools. The first one is to communicate. Uh, this is for you and your student, uh, especially in ninth grade. I know it can be intimidating to email your teachers. Some students are very comfortable with it already, but not all of them. So I would uh, encourage your student to communicate their needs, to email me themselves, but obviously you are also very welcome as the parent to email me any concerns, anything like that. Uh, technology will fail us at some point this year, I'm sure. So don't panic, just communicate, um, and we'll work together to uh, come up with a solution. The second piece is we will be using Schoology. Uh, Schoology for all of our online assignments, anything written will be through turnitin.com, but I'll explain that to your student very clearly. We cover plagiarism in the first few weeks of school. We go over it very explicitly. We have uh, class discussions about it, just so that we're all clear. What does it really mean to create your own original work? Because I know for freshmen, sometimes that can be a little confusing and we all want to be clear. Uh, and that's what turnitin.com is a uh, essentially a plagiarism checker. So we, we want to make sure we don't run into any of that this year. And then lastly is to read. Above all else, I would encourage you to Talk to your student about what they're reading. Um, if they say they're reading nothing, that's probably uh, not how it should be because we probably have some sort of book that we're reading in class or short stories, uh, poems, anything like that. Talk to them about what they're reading and encourage them to um, read for at least 20 minutes each night, even if it's a book for fun. So here are some of the novels that we're gonna cover. This year, we're gonna start with The 57 Bus. Um, it's a story, it's a nonfiction um story about two teenagers it occurred the events occurred very recently and uh, i have a further description of it on your on the syllabus that i sent you out last week and i've attached to this email the next novel that we're going to be covering is of mice and men uh, that will be second quarter we're going to talk about friendship uh, as well as sacrifice and things like that with this classic steinbeck novel and then starting second semester we have to kill a mockingbird uh, we're going to get into prejudice, uh, what that looks like in the legal system then and now. And we will end the year with The Hobbit. Uh, it's a kind of a fun fantasy piece, a nice way to close out the year. Um, a lot of students really enjoyed it last year. It's one of my favorites. And I'm really excited to be teaching it this year. So again, I wanted to say welcome. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if anything comes up, let me know. I am very excited to be working with you and your student this year. Thank you.